Now, in this question, the CSEC exam pass paper question and solution, uh, May 2011, question 4B. And this is a typical, this comes under the um, topic of algebra, okay? That's a general topic. However, to be more specific, it's a measurements question, okay? Uh, so here, in this question, they're asking us to use pi as 22 over 7, okay? And it states that a piece of wire is bent to form a square of area 121 centimeters square now we're asked to calculate in part 1a the length of each side of the square and part b we're asked to calculate the perimeter of the square now those two questions value three marks in the exam now in part 2 they're asking us that they're telling us that the same piece of wire is bent to form a circle now we're asked to calculate part a the radius of the circle and part b the area of that same circle so quickly let's just get into this um and i'm just going to show you the basic concept behind this as we go along now here they're speaking about a square and they have given us the area of the square and in part a we're asked to find the length of each side of the square so um just 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 to look at the basic concept let's just bring up our square here now here is our square and please note that we're answering question 4 4b and this is part 1a okay that's part 1a that we're answering now here we have a, a square here now in a square just these are just the basic concepts we know that each side is of the same length so if that side is L this side must be L and that side must be L okay now when finding the area of a square and by area we mean that this enclosed space so all of this space that I'm coloring in blue inside the square um, that's that's the area this this all this region here represents the area of the square this enclosed area okay now we know that to find this area we would have to multiply the length times the length so therefore by definition the area of a square we can say that the area of a square therefore the area of a square is equal to you're multiplying two lengths so it would be l times l okay and that can be simplified to area is equal to l times l is the same as l squared okay and if you're not sure about that you could check out our playlist on indices and it shows you and you will understand these concepts a bit clearer okay now since we have the area of a square to be l squared okay and since they gave us the area of the square inside this problem and now they're asking us to find the length what we could do we could just take this and substitute it here so since the area is 121 centimeter square i could just simply say 121 is equal to l squared so here i have my 121 is equal to l squared now basically to solve for L which is a length of each side okay and that's what they're asking us to find now you have to look at what is happening to L if you notice L is being squared so it's will it would suggest that I would have to take the square root of each side because the opposite of a square is the square root so I know that the square root will cancel out with the square and what I do to one side I must do it to the next and I know that the square root of 121 is 11 so therefore I can say then that L is equal to 11 cm remember units are important we're in cm okay now I found the 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 area sorry my bad I found the length of a side okay now they're asking us in part 2 now to find the perimeter of a side so part B rather so let me change that to part B they're asking us to find the perimeter and we should know now know by definition that the perimeter uh, represents the total distance around an object okay so when asked to find the perimeter is as if you're adding up each line segment that bounds the shape all right so we know that from this this distance here let me just put it up top that distance plus this distance there plus this distance there plus this distance because a square has four equal sides so l plus l so the perimeter would be 
L plus L plus L plus L. Okay, that would give me my perimeter. So my perimeter, and since it's a square and a square has four equal parts, we could just basically add these up. We could say L plus L is 2L and another L would give us 3L and another L would give us 4L. Okay, so the perimeter of a square is really 4 times L. Now if you look carefully, we had worked out what L was in the previous um, exercise and we found L to be 11. So we could say the perimeter of a square is 4 times 11, which is equal to 44 centimeters. Okay, and that's it. That's, that's, it's that easy guys, right? Now let's look at part 2 quickly. It says that the same piece of wire is bent to form a circle. Now we're asked to calculate part A, the radius of the circle, and in part B, the area of the circle. Okay, so let's just pull this up a little bit. Now one thing I need you to remember is that here they ask us to use pi as 22 over 7. Okay, so in working out this part, of the question we we'll, we have we're going to be using this value here for pi okay so let's just scroll up a bit to get a little bit more space to work with okay let's just scroll up there a bit okay i'm i am going to stop right there now in calculating part a part 2 and part a now in calculating this part now um, basically, in the previous part, we had found, so let me put three here. In the previous part, sorry, part two, and I'm working out A. Now, in the previous part, we had found the perimeter of the of the, of the the shape, which is the total distance around the object. And we said that the perimeter was uh, 44. And, and let's just draw a little diagram here to represent that. So this would be my perimeter, okay? So this would be the length of the and the perimeter is really the length of the piece of wire that we are speaking about now obviously um let's say that based on what we calculated you know let's say we had divide our piece of wire into four equal parts so this would be 11 cm that would be another 11 i would have another 11 there and another 11 okay so this would bring it up to a total of 144 so obviously if, sorry not 144 but 44 cm so obviously from that point would be 44 cm going down to that point okay that's the length of my piece of wire now what they're saying here is that the same piece of wire is used to form a circle okay so so just imagine I've bent this piece of wire here that is 44 cm in the shape or in the form now of a circle so I would bring around this side and curve it along with this side to get my circle okay now let's say that is my circle we know that for every circle we have a radius the distance from the center of the circle touching the circumference and the 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 line that gives the circle its shape is called a circumference okay or another or another way you could use to describe the circumference you could say it's a perimeter of the circle or it's a total distance around the circle so since we had found the perimeter here to be 44 and it's the same piece of of wire is used to form the circle then obviously my perimeter of my circle must also be my circumference rather or the perimeter of the circle must be 44 cm it must be equal to the same piece of wire now here in part a they're asking us to find the radius of the circle now here we know that um since i have the circumference it's easy to find the radius because I, as i've said here we now know we we would have known from earlier lessons <clears throat> okay in measurements that the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r okay and in our measurements playlist uh, we show you the proofs of how we come up with these formulas okay now basically um let me take you back to the original part of the question we're here they ask us to use pi as 22 over 7 so that's what i'm going to use for my value for pi okay so here basically what i'm doing is just mere substitution and solving so i am going to say since i have the circumference of the circle which is equal to 44 i can just substitute that to say 44 
must be equal to 2 and we had gotten pi to be 22 over 7 times the radius which we don't know we have to solve for that now basically um, I could simplify this by saying 2 times 44 would 2 times 22 rather would give me 44 so here really I have 44 I just bring back down this 44 is equal to 44 over 7 and over 7 and that is multiplying R okay so this is a 7 there and that is multiplying r. Now basically what is happening here is 44 over 7 and this could be written another way. I could say this is the same as 44 is equal to 44 r over 7 okay all over 7 I could have written this as that okay it's pretty much the same now basically I have a fraction here to make it easy for you and I can just simply turn that into a fraction and I can just simply cross multiply however if you're not sure about the algebra you could also check out our playlist on transposition where we teach you the basic concepts behind that okay so since I have a fraction here and a fraction here I could just simply go ahead and cross multiply let me just pull up my my screen a bit to get a little bit more space to work with okay guys now what I have here now is basically I am saying 1 times 44 over R is the same as 44 rather R 44 times R I should have said 1 times 44 times R is the same as 44 times R now this is equal to I can say 44 times 7 I'm just going to multiply 44 times 7 and if you notice I'm not going to work it out because I would have realized that I would have to divide through by divide through by 44 so I'm just going to leave it like that okay so here now I'm dividing through because 44 is multiplying R so I need to get rid of that so that I have the R alone on this side so I'm going to divide through by 44 so 44 would cancel 44 there and dividing through by 44 here I have a 44 in my numerator so it would cancel that 44 therefore my R my radius must be equal to 7 centimeters okay now having established that having established that my radius is 7 centimeters I can just quickly go ahead and work out part 2b okay quickly let's just look at that here I have here I have my area they're asking us in part B here to find the area of the circle now we know that the area of the circle area of a circle must be equal to pi r square and as I've said we in in our measurements playlist we prove how we come by these formulas okay now all right now we are finding the area so area must be equal to they gave us the value of pi which we had substituted right here to be 22 over 7 so I'm saying 22 over 7 times r square which is r r r radius which we have just found in the previous question down here this is my radius now this this here is my radius that I found there so I'm just going to substitute it for r r is 7 so I'm going to say 7 times 7 okay so my area of my circle however is must be equal to 7 will cancel 7 so I'm saying my area must be 22 times 7 we know that 7 twos will give us 14 so I can put down a 4 carry the 1 7 twos again will give me a 14 plus 1 will give me a 15 so that's 154 centimeters and area is in squared units okay so that's my answer guys okay and it's that easy um, feel free if you have any questions or comments feel free to post them or you can even subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates of our videos okay bye bye